Hey, I'm Sonic Kim, America's face of dating, and today what we're going to be talking about is how to handle her losing interest, and it sucks when a girl is losing interest, let me tell you, maybe she, you know, already has, or you could feel it in your gut that she's pulling away, her response time is getting longer and longer while her texts are getting shorter and shorter. After this video, I want you to be a priority, finally, and know exactly how to handle her losing interest. But here's why girls go cold on you. And the the grand scheme of things, like the zoomed out picture, is that girls are going cold because you're doing things that's causing her, doing things that's causing her to sink back into this blue zone right here. And you gotta remember that women date, they sleep with, and they marry men that they respect not men that they just like. And if you are, so explaining this chart a little bit, the red zone here is where she's very into you. She's interested in you. She's probably fallen in love with you. She is really hot for you. She's very attracted to you. The yellow zone, she, she probably finds you attractive, but you know, she's, she's so, so about it. She's like, I'm not like so into it just yet, but like I could see where it goes. And the blue zone is like, dude, she's just not into you. Like she's cold for you. She doesn't respond to your texts. She is ice cold in her responses. And so sometimes, and it's actually a good thing when you meet girls like that because it means you're polarizing. It means that there are some girls that don't like you, which means just by the law of the mirror, the reflection of your life, it means that some girls you meet are going to be really hot in the red zone for you. And a lot of times too, like they're going to be in the orange zone. And you, every single girl you meet, you can classify at some point on this chart, the purple zone, if you haven't figured it out yet, that basically means that she's got issues. <laughs> she's hot and cold at the same time. She's wishy-washy, and that's really, really fucking rare. Don't be that guy that comes here, and he's just like, yeah, just every girl I talk to has issues. No, bro. This is probably about 5% of the women you meet are going to meet. You can classify in the purple zone. Most likely, the issue is you, and that's good. It means you can fix it. Right, but if you're one of those guys who's gonna be like a victim and play victim and be like, oh, all, all girls just suck, man. This is not the channel for you, dude. And especially if you're broke and you're saying that shit, get the fuck out of here, dog. This is not the place for you. But you are doing stuff, and especially if you're a guy with a great career, you live in a nice place, you worked hard to get there, and you take care of yourself. You probably look like the perfect boyfriend on paper, and you still can't seem to sustain a girlfriend or like get a girlfriend or get a date and that's fine a lot of guys struggle with that but if that's you you're doing things that's causing her to sink back into the blue zone and the only thing that you need to learn is natural attraction that's going to push her through the orange zone all the way to the red zone and chances are you're being way too nice you're being way too predictable you're being indecisive about what you want in life you hesitate on the approach and you don't know how to build attraction and all those things are going to cause her to sink back into the blue zone Women want a confident man. That is something that attracts women naturally. It's the number one thing that attracts women is confidence. It's not money, like red pill geeks tell you. It's not being six feet, like red pill geeks tell you. It's not some pickup line on the dating app, like dating app gurus tell you. It is literally confidence. And if you are displaying confidence and you know how to do that and build natural attraction, you are going to be a beast. It is literally that simple. And if you have a great career and all the things we just listed, but you still can't get a girlfriend, chances are you were in between the this green circle right here and this red triangle where you're getting ghosted, you're getting rejected, you had a girl, but then you know you blew it. You're on the dating apps, you're nervous to approach. Maybe you can like get a phone number too. You can get a date every 30 or 90 days. Maybe you're still partial on the dating apps. Or like you you can get a date, but then she just goes cold on you. Right, has girls coming to you maybe too, but you just can't sustain that. The way, the one thing that's gonna get you to this this golden diamond right here is that you you need to learn natural attraction. Like that is just it is just a law of life. If you don't know the principles to attraction, then you are always destined to go back and revert to who you originally were. It's like with business. If you don't know the principles to and the psychology of making money, then it's going to be impossible to continue to make money at a very predictable pace. But if you know the principles to attraction and how to actually attract women, then you will be able to sustain dates and sustain 
relationships way easier because you know exactly what is happening and why it's happening. But it's like if you tolerate a mediocre dating life and you don't work on it, then you're just going to continue to receive that. Like, look at my clients. They all join my program. They learn natural attraction, my program, Arrows, Effortless Romance on Sight, my dating mastery system. And again, like if you tolerate what you tolerate in life, you will just get more of that. So it's like if you tolerate just a mediocre dating life and you don't want to work on that, you're going to get a mediocre dating life. It's just as predictable as the sun rising up in the east. It's something I talk about in my book is really teaching those attraction triggers as well. If you guys have not read my book, Waking the Core of Man, you guys, uh, I'm just, I'm just going to assume you love rejection and you love pain. Maybe you're a masochist, I believe they call it, that you just like pain. <laughs> That's, that's you guys if you've not read my book yet and you've been following my channel for more than a week. It's like if you've not checked that out yet, like <laughs> I'm just going to assume that either you're just lazy as fuck or you just like pain. It's really one of the two things. And if you're either one of those two people, this is probably not the page for you. Just going to just be honest with you guys on that. But this is me right here and this is some of my clients as well. But look at Nick specifically he joined he had a great career he built his house from fucking scratch isn't that awesome construction worked in construction so he knew, knew how to build his home had people you know contractors come out it's just fucking just a beast and he came to me he's like dude like i know that i want to work with you he's like i've been working with a therapist as well but we don't really talk about the dating stuff and i really want to work on the dating stuff now he came to my program we taught him natural attraction it's really simple you have to surround yourself with beautiful women you have to know how to attract a beautiful woman and then you don't have to know how to escalate that to a relationship. And when you have those three steps down, like we taught Nick, it just it went so smoothly for him that literally three months into the program, he was already in his quality dream relationship and he's still with her and everything's going fucking amazing. He's probably going to marry her and invite me to his wedding. Like it, it's just so fucking predictable once you, once you know natural attraction. Thomas, he said he had the first date with a woman in his lifetime. Uh, the, it's covered up by Mason just being a beast here, obviously, but it says first date with a woman in his lifetime. Like, what? At 38 years old, it's it's incredible. That is incredible results right there. And, like, that changed his life forever, man. And it's like, if Thomas can do it at 38 years old, and he was really struggling, like, I know you guys can do it as well, especially if you come from a divorce or a breakup. You already have some experience. You just need to learn natural attraction. And once we teach you the principles, you're going to have a quality relationship and be able to have that if you want that. It's your choice. It's not just, you know, by the fate of life dropping it on your lap, which people try to make you believe that, oh, yeah, the right woman's just going to come along one day. That's just bullshit. It's just not going to happen. Mason said, just had back-to-back -back dates tonight, not planned. Went, went for dinner with this girl I met online and have been talking to, followed by kayaking. Awesome. <laughs> Didn't catch anything but her. After kayaking and fishing, this other girl I also met online had messaged me and told me to swing by her place. We decided to go see the new Deadpool movie, which was cool. And then we went to her place and slept together. It's just like, dude, like, if you guys are struggling and you, you know that you need help and you've been watching my content for a while, the guys that I love to work with, those are the guys that take action. There's nothing special about these guys here. I wish I could say there was. There's nothing special about them except for the fact that they took action. And smart men take action. They invest in themselves to fix this. And that's exactly what Nick did, Thomas did, Mason did, all the other guys in my program. That's exactly what they did, and that's why they're crushing it. And if you've been watching my content for a while and, you, and you're tired of seeing all these guys crushing it, because I'd be pissed off too to see guys, and I'm like, man, I'm probably better looking than them, and I probably have a way better lifestyle than them, but they're for some reason doing better than me with dating. Like it doesn't make sense. Like I'd be tired too. So it's like, if you want to change that, then message me on Instagram or Facebook. Tell me you're directly from YouTube as well. So we can prioritize you, but message me directly on those platforms. We can talk, go back and forth and hop on a call with me or my team and see if you're a perfect fit for what we do. Or you can just book in a call. If you're just ready to go book in a call using the link in the description below, but only hop on the call. If you're serious, you're ready to go. Uh, I don't really want to just waste my time on the call personally. So it's like, if you're just going to hop on the call and say, I'll think about it, I'm just probably going to roast you and just say, this is why women don't like you because you're just sitting here hesitating on bullshit when you know you have to do something about this. Like don't hop on the call if you're not serious 
only if you're like, you know what, I'm ready to go, I'll figure out a way, F it, let's do it. Those are the guys that get the best results in my program and those are the guys that get women, to be honest. So this is also me right here with my dream relationship, a swimming in, swimming in Cabo with a dolphin. But it's like looking at these results, can't you see how different your life would be when you know natural attraction? It's like I, you should be pissed off that this 38-year-old is getting the first date of his life, right? And you're still struggling. Or Mason is fucking crushing it with his dating life. Or this Nick here, like 23 or 24 year old, I believe. He's in his dream relationship already. Like, dude, don't waste time. Just do this. So again, book in that call using the link in the description below or message me on Instagram or Facebook. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But on that note, I'm Sonic Kim, America's face of dating. Make sure to like, comment down below what you guys want to hear more about. And I will see you guys in the next video.